I'm uh, Sergeant First Class Eric Corcoran. Uh, started the program here at Missouri Southern. I'm a graduate from here in 1986 uh, from the officer program. Uh, 35 years ago, uh, just a couple weeks ago, I ran into a lot of my buddies from the alumni football team that uh, joined the program with me. Uh, we have a relationship to this day. We talk monthly on the phone and uh, try to get together anytime we can. Two of the things we talked about while they were here is what we were looking for when we joined the military and the gold program. And the same thing uh, was brought up every time. And we're all looking for discipline and direction in this life. Uh, whether you're 18 or 50, we uh, try to make the best of ourselves all the time. And that's what the military does. And that's why so many people give you the opportunity to uh, have good employment and have good futures because the military gives you success every day and we strive for it. You know, one of my fun things I always say is uh, some of us uh, play the Call of Duty and then some of us live the Call of Duty. And I think that's true to every soldier that we try to walk uh, every day to help people, take care of people and do the right thing. My name is Captain Richard Wishmeyer. I'm a professor of military science for the MSSU Show Me Gold program. Uh, talk to you guys a little bit today about our physical training. So uh, we have physical training every day, or excuse me, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Uh, so how that works is cadre come up with when physical training will occur and what the topic of that physical training will be. So some days we might do a road march, other days we might do a log workout or some kind of sprint activity. Um, then we don't run the session, the candidates run the session, the students here do. So the student has to make the plan for whatever the topic is, come up with a detailed timeline, come up with any logistical requirements, uh, do risk assessments and make sure that's going to be a safe training event. Cadre evaluate all of that, all those documents to ensure that we're having a good uh, PT session that is planned by the candidates. So it really shows, enables the candidates to develop their leadership and planning abilities. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, I really enjoy that. It helps keep everyone close. Uh, waking up early isn't the greatest, but being able to uh, just do that and build that camaraderie is great. Uh, and the incentives. So like Monday, um, if you don't pass your PT test, you're required to go Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, Wednesdays are for everybody, and then Fridays are for uh, everybody except for the people who get an 80% or an 80, 80, 80 in each event. Those that are uh, in the program are also Missouri National Guard soldiers, so we have drill one weekend a month, two weeks a year. Um, so in our drill weekends, we are really doing a hands-on practical exercise of what's taught in the classroom. Um, in the fall, we really focus on map reading and land navigation, and in the spring, we really focus on uh, situational training exercises or sticks lanes. Uh, it's where they learn troop leading procedures and operations orders, which is the process of the Army process of planning and the Army process of disseminating plans. Um, so this past uh, weekend, we actually just did a joint FTX with all five Show Me Gold programs from across the state. We had over 81 candidates on the ground uh, working on their map reading and land nav uh, skills. We had academic portion. We had uh, out in the woods practical exercise portion. We also got to do some fun stuff, like some combat water survival training. They jump off diving boards with weapons. Uh, we also did the Milo simulator, which is a shoot-no-shoot -shoot simulator. Um, we started out with labs every other Thursday, um, which were fun, but I didn't feel like we got proper training time with those. And now that we're moving into drill one week in a month or that we have moved into that, uh, I feel like it's a lot better. Uh, a lot more training time, time to hit on things. We learn a lot better. So in the Show Me Gold program, we have four levels of classes, uh, 100 through 400, which is freshman through senior. So our 100 level classes are really more introductory classes where they get enough to, the student gets enough knowledge to be successful on the drill weekend. At the 200 or sophomore level is really where we get into the weeds and in depth on a lot of topics. The idea is at the 200 level, they get so much in-depth information are able to really apply it on those drill weekends. And at the 300 level, the junior year, they are actually the ones in teaching and instructing those topics with cadre supervision to ensure that they hit everything they need to hit. But so that 
they are 100% prepared to go to uh, accelerate officer candidate school at the end of their junior year over the summer. Uh, and then on the 400 year, so for for the Show Me Gold program, after their junior year in, in college, they'll go to Accelerate OCS and come back their senior year of college as a commissioned officer, which is different than ROTC, which they don't commission until after they graduate co college. Well, the 400 year instruction is really focused on developing them as leaders, as newly commissioned officers in the Missouri National Guard. It is very specific to what Missouri National Guard does and things that they can expect in their first year to two years. With the GOAL program in general, I really like the atmosphere. It's not super tough, but the leaders, Captain Wishwanger, Sergeant Kramer, all the lieutenants, they're very good at figuring out what kind of motivates a person and how to push them to be their best. And so I feel like the GOAL program overall is a very great environment. They're not super down on you, they're not gonna punish you for every little mistake you make, but they still make sure you get done what you need to get done. It's tough, isn't it? I mean, you've gotta take the commander's intent, you've gotta take the mission, you've got to, uh, you've got to nest your plan within what you receive from higher, right? And it's a challenging job, and this is the beginning of it for you as you go throughout your career. 